everyone, Brian Matias here. I'd like to welcome you to a new On One Short Clip video. Here, I'm gonna be using On One Photo Raw 2018 to tone map these five bracketed images to create a new HDR image. And then we're gonna use the new color range masking tools to selectively apply some effects to that photo. So if I scroll through, I'll show you here the brackets, here's the zero, and then one of the negatives showing the highlights, positives showing shadows, and then even more highlight details, and even more shadow details. So being able to take these images and combine them together will give me a really nice chock full of tone image. And that's what I want because there is a lot of tonal information here. So to do that, I'm gonna select all five of these brackets and then I'm gonna click on HDR on the right here to start. And the process is actually super quick. Here is the tone mapped image. And I'm gonna start by making some kind of minor changes here. I'm gonna drop those highlights down to bring detail in that sky. You can see how the sky is getting a little bit more detail there. I'm also gonna go ahead and open up the exposure, drop those highlights a little bit more. And so here we have a really nice evenly exposed photo. I'm gonna to go to the HDR look tab here. And this is an effect that we'll have access to, so don't worry about it. Uh, you're not committed to any particular look here. You can always go back and adjust this. I'm gonna take the compression, I'm gonna drop that down to give us a little bit more of a natural look. I'm also gonna add a little bit of clarity and a little bit of glow. And now I've got my tone mapped image processed. I'm gonna click save to return back into develop. And the only thing I wanna do here is apply a local adjustment to the sky. So I'm gonna to go to the local adjustments here. I'm gonna, the exposure I want at zero, but I'm gonna bring the highlights down. And then I'm gonna take a graduated filter, click over here, and you can see as I drag, you see how the highlights are coming back in the sky? So that's good, that's kinda of all I want. I'm also gonna go and go to my Magic eraser, I'm gonna get rid of this dust spot because that's bothering me. Always get rid of your dust spots, everyone. And then with that same mask, I'm gonna open the exposure up just to brighten this guy just a little bit. And now we can go to effects to start selectively applying uh, those effects using a color range masking tool. So let's just click on that. And you can see in overall settings, that's the HDR look effect that I was telling you about. So these are the settings that I had so I can go ahead and you know readjust whenever I want on the fly. First thing I'm gonna do is I wanna add some detail to the foreground, especially to the grass. So you know my favorite, dynamic contrast. And I'm gonna to go to 999. You can see how it applies everywhere, but I don't want that. I only wanna to apply it to the foreground and really to the barn and the tree. So to do that, I'm gonna to go to the mask icon here, which gives me my masking tools. Now, there's a new option in On One Photo Raw 2018 called Color Range. So I'm gonna check that, and then I'm gonna take the color dropper and I'm gonna click on the color in the foreground. Now, where this really shines is when you click on view. So here we have a mask view showing where that dynamic contrast effect is being applied. Anywhere that's white has that effect applied and anywhere that's black doesn't. Now I wanna further refine this mask and I can do that by using the color range slider. Now watch, if I slide it to the right, it becomes less sensitive. So that dynamic contrast effect eventually applies everywhere. But if I go to the left, Watch, as I go further and further to the left, those mountains start deselecting, and I really refine it towards the foreground here, especially in the grass and the tree and the barn. So if I turn off that view, you can see, and I can toggle on and off, you see how it's only applying to that foreground exactly where I want it. Now I can further refine by dropping that opacity by about half. Now let's add an effect to the sky. So I'm gonna click Add Filter, and I'm gonna add Sunshine. And remember, I only want to apply to the sky. So first, I'm going to adjust kind of the strength and what I want the effect to look like. And I'm going to go ahead and apply a blending mode. Let's go with soft light. Let's drop that down and just a little bit. And again, just like before, we'll go to the mask. We'll go to the color range, select the dropper, and I'll click on blue. Then we'll go to view and use the color range to really dial in where that effect is applied. So right around there. So we'll turn the view off. You can see if we toggle, how it's really just kind of brightening the sky, which is really nice. I hope this gives you a really good idea of how you can use On One Photo Raw 2018 to tone map your HDR photos and then dial in effects specifically where you want it in that image. Thanks a lot, everyone. Mm -hmm.